Bernard Jordan is a speaker and advocate for the protection of seniors' health and welfare throughout their golden years. Born in South Africa, he immigrated to Canada with his family years ago. His senior years are spent volunteering his time to benefit seniors' lives and to the country he loves, Canada. My name is Bernard Jordan, uh, president of uh, the United Senior Citizens of Ontario, a totally volunteer organization. And I'm married to Lois uh, for will be 25 years coming February. The United Senior Citizens of Ontario is basically a volunteer organization and uh, we represent seniors across the province. We have over 200,000 seniors. Our basic mission is to ensure that seniors live comfortable and happy in their retirement golden years. Seniors 65 and older are the population sector most vulnerable to the severe consequences of influenza. So influenza is a respiratory virus and is very common. The attack rate in Canada is about 10 to 20 percent. And what a lot of people forget about, it's one of the top 10 killers in Canada yearly, particularly affecting seniors over the age of 65 and people with comorbidities. In the 2014-2015 influenza season, seniors accounted for 70 percent of hospitalizations and 90 percent of deaths due to influenza, otherwise known as the flu. I know for the fact that many of our members uh, ended up in hospital with influenza and because of the AIDS they don't have the, the, the energy or, or the stamina to fight back and uh, they succumb to influenza uh, in, once they're hospitalized and that is why we encourage all of our members to take advantage of the flu vaccine. Studies have shown that influenza is associated with an increased risk of heart attacks and stroke. Data from 2015-2016 influenza season showed that 41% of adults hospitalized with the flu had heart disease. What a lot of people don't realize is that when patients die in hospital, on the post-mortem, it'll say heart attack or stroke. But really what we often forget, and that's why they talk about the underreporting, is that what brought them in was flu. So they came in with influenza but they never left because they got a secondary complication. I don't believe that seniors are aware that, um, that the flu or the influenza can bring about heart attacks and stroke. So an organization like ours have work to do out there to educate because as part of our, of our mission is to educate our members and I feel that this is one thing where we probably have not been too active in educating our members to the effects of not obtaining the annual flu vaccine. As we age, our immune system weakens, leaving seniors more vulnerable to contracting infectious diseases like influenza. And additionally, with age, the immune responses to vaccines are diminished. Seniors do not generate a good antibody response to standard vaccine. So we are looking at different technologies to boost that immune response. And one of the strategies has been by increasing more antigen in the flu vaccine hence the high-dose flu vaccine, which is now recommended by the National Advisory as of last season and this season as the preferred vaccine for seniors. Bernard's philosophy on a proper retirement is to stay healthy and active. He believes that the healthier you are in the golden years, the happier you will be. I met Lois, um, my wife Lois, through um, taking ballroom dance lessons after years and years of working uh, long hours and I needed to have some recreation. Lois and I enjoy cruising as a pastime or as a hobby because it's just something that uh, we can enjoy the ballroom dancing that we, we have learned together. Our license plate is really happy and it's quite interesting because Lois and I, we are very happy. The life we live, we're happy, we enjoy good health. And it's, it's quite ironic when we're driving down the highway anyway, people will look to see all these two people in the car happy. But we are very happy and we have two dancers on there as well because we do ballroom dancing. For seniors interested in learning more about protecting against influenza, please visit the website below. To learn more about vaccination against influenza, speak with your family physician.